President McQuaid, good morning. Good morning to you, Enrico. Uh, from a general perspective, we could say that 2011 has been a very positive year for cycling and for UCI. I think it has indeed. I think uh, the competition has been excellent all year long, starting with the classics at the beginning of the year, the road, and then into the, the Giro and the Tour and the Tour Spain, uh, finishing up with the magnificent World Championships in Copenhagen. Uh, we've had no major problems, no major scandals during the year. Very good competition, and I think the you know the the, the public have come out in their in their thousands and thousands to watch it and watching television at home. The figures were up, uh, and and most of the events all year. So I think we can say it's been a very good year, and that's road cycling only. The other disciplines likewise have been very successful. And what has been the most important for you, the ongoing process of globalization of the sport with the Tour of Beijing, uh, which has been a great successful uh, event, or the feeling you have been able, finally, to restore the credibility of cycling? Well, when you say the feeling we've been able to restore the credibility of cycling, that obviously is a very important objective. I don't think we've completely restored credibility. We still need another couple of years like we had this year. Um, and then we can safely say that we've restored the credibility. But I think for me, that is a very important objective. The ethics, um, that the rules are respected, that everybody respects the rules. That's what they're there for. And uh, that people understand they need to respect rules. Um, that's for extremely important. On the other side, the globalization uh, is working very well. The sport is developing on the other continents. We have knew the Tour of Beijing was a very big success in its first year and will grow into a much bigger race. And likewise, we, we see athletes now being signed by, by top uh, pro teams for, you know, from Iran and from Eritrea, from different parts of the world. So it's happening, but there's still a lot to be done. Like you said, we haven't any major doping issue this year, and we had a new, very important action launched by UCI, the non-lethal policy, which has been also accepted and approved by IOC. Once more, we confirm our role of, uh, of leading federation in this domain. We always have been, and, and we continue to be, and it is true, the, the non-lethal policy is another step on the way, another element in the armory of the fight against doping. Um, and I think it, it, you know, we can, when we look back through the year and the fact that we've no major, no major open scandals, all the work we have been doing in recent years is starting to pay off now. It, the deterrent, which is very much the biological passports working very much as a deterrent, the no needles policy likewise, it it it, it aids that and, and helps it helps it, uh, you know, help, helps the the, the change and, and change and you know to regain the credibility helps to change and get rid of the culture of doping from the sport. So st step by step we, we we go forward and any new methods or anything which we can do to continue to improve the fight against doping, there's no doubt we will continue to introduce. 2012 will be an Olympic year, very important one for the UCI because for the very first time your federation will uh, be at the Olympics with a very well uh, gender balanced program, equality between men and women, which is very important for the development of the sport in general. It is indeed, and uh, gender equality, we brought that, we had to change the Olympic program from Beijing, where there was seven events for men, three for women, to five and five now for the Olympic Games, and it's, it's, uh, it's a, a proper, correct objective, and it's, it's correct that we should do that. The, we can see already since it was announced a couple of years ago, the standard of women's cycling has gone up because uh, f federations and Olympic committees and sports councils around the world are investing more in, in women's cycling. So that's good and that will pay off in the long term as well. Um, and the Olympic Games themselves, yes, in London are going to be an incredible Olympic Games. We're there with four disciplines, four very important disciplines. We're in a country where cycling is now, since Beijing and since Athens, cycling is probably the most important Olympic sport. So the interest that is going to be in, in, you know, beginning with the road race on the first day in, in the cycling events is going to be incredible in London. Finally, Mr. President, your wish for 2012. My wish for 2012 would be that we will have again another year of very exciting, very correct and very, very good racing where everybody uh, enjoys it, everybody's on, the cyclists put on a great show for the public who will come out in the thousands to watch it and at the end of the year that we can look back and say we've had a successful year. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.